twice a year, herds of antelope migrate between Grand Teton National Park and the Red Desert along a corridor through the Bridger Teton National Forest. The same route has been used by the antelope for about 5,000 years. They are the longest surviving endemic species um, in North America. They've been here 30 million years, so they have survived longer than any of the other mammals, that ungulates, actually ungulates, um, that are now gone. The migration corridor will now be protected against future development. There are a number of these uh, going on across the country, particularly as we look at some of the critical you know, habitats for wildlife. And Western governors have been very, very supportive of the concept. In fact, the corridor dedication coincides with the Western Governors Association meeting, which is currently taking place in Jackson Hole. We were just so you know, pleased that they could come and be part of the celebration because of their emphasis on wildlife corridors. The corridor's boundaries were identified through years of research. Animals were fitted with GPS devices to track their exact locations. This is how things are going to happen in the future, and I think you know, this is the first, uh, certainly for, for Wyoming, and if you think about you know, Wyoming being first with the first national park, first national forest, uh, you know, this is a great first for America. So. And I've been in government for 30 years almost, and this is probably the most significant thing and the, and the most rewarding thing for me. In the Bridger Teton National Forest, I'm Cheryl Lee for K2 News.